I don't want you to fall behind. I want you to use it for your business, for yourself, personally, for your family, as you grow, I want you to adapt it. And today I want to talk to you about how you can input AI into social media and probably a few other tidbits. I'm going to share with you some prompts that I created so you can use them so you can get better at using social and it can produce amazing things for you. Let's go. I'm Tristan. What I'm going to share with you is in the description inside of the YouTube section. You can grab the Google Doc there. But for now, I did create something for you to be able to share along the way. I have five prompts I want to share with you. This is prompt number one, auto reminders. If you didn't know that you could have auto reminders on or put them into ChatGPT, man, this is amazing because you look at here, it says, Roll, you are my social media coach in accountability. But listen, you could have it be an account an accountability partner for practically anything. A history professor. Hey, give me the history tidbit for the day. A language coach, Spanish, Chinese, right? Mandarin, Cantonese, um, whatever you want, or a writing coach, or you better an AI accountability partner for the average human where they can give you little things that you should be doing daily for AI. And you can have it say, hey, you know what? I'll only make me spend about 15 minutes a day on this. But let's go back to the very first one, the very first prompt. Roll, you are my social media coach and accountability partner. Task every morning at 7 a.m. Pacific. Remind me that today I must publish a social media post and give me exactly one idea to post. When you remind me, include a hook, key insights, gentle call to action, platform tweaks, 10 word tips, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube shorts. And you know how I use this. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and grab this and put it into chat so you can see what this actually produces. I've got ChatGPT open, and let me share that screen with you. But before I do, I want you to start thinking of ways that you can use this, not just for social media. So I, I run an agency. Um, I run a, a real estate team. I run a brokerage uh, for all of California. I run communities for some of the companies that you know, right? So Zillow. I work with CoStar. I work with some amazing companies. And we are incorporating AI daily, not only to produce great things, but to streamline processes so that we can produce better content. And I'm using it for my family, too. And so the idea is to bring this to you so that you can use it. There it is. So right in the middle, see, I switched it to the top corner to 03. This is the paid version, $20. Um, I do have the $200 version, but you don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and paste that exact prompt I told you to do. Now, O3 takes a little bit longer to produce this, this result. It'll probably take about 10 to 20 seconds, sometimes less. But I'm actually having it create a task. It's going to say, great, I'm ready to go. Now, you see what it said right there? It said, Tristan, I am ready to go. It said, got it. I will nudge you every morning at 7 a.m. Pacific. Now, I don't want it to nudge me at 7 a.m. Pacific right now. I want it to produce something for me. So let's have it produce something right now for us and say, you know what? This is cool. Great job. I'm going to zoom out so I can type. And I'm going to say, uh, start right now because i want to see it i want to see it and i don't you, you know you well, you could also do it. look at the bottom it said turn on desktop notifications so i can have it turn it on so it can notify me with this task i can have it email me which it'll automatically do and i can have it show up there every morning now what it's producing right now you see here i'm going to zoom in so you can read it with me it said it thought for 15 seconds, and now it says your future fans crave the messy middle. So that's the hook. So whatever I'm going to post, that's going to be it. And the idea is so that 
when you're looking to use this, go to it and modify it, make it your own. And if you're using it for a history lesson, if you're using it for French, it's a lot easier for that, for those things. When you get into social, uh, the way that we use it is we also have it pull information from the latest news for real estate because half of my world is real estate. And so I have it say, hey, go and pull the latest information from these sources. And now give me some topics to talk about. And yesterday, if you follow me on TikTok, well, it might be a few, a few days now, but you see my TikTok channel, I chose um, war plus the housing market, the US housing market. That came from AI to say, Tristan, I think you should talk about how that works. And so I did, and it did amazing, right? Got a lot of comments, a lot of views on most of my channels. The only way it didn't perform well was Facebook. But anyway, this is important. It says, uh, key insight, people trust process over polish, snap a quick shot of your desk, sketch or camera setup, and share one challenge you're tackling today. Okay, so it wants me to be authentic. I like that. I'm going to snap it right here so you can see what I'm building. And you know what? I may snap it right here. We can use this one. I, I love the suggestion, right? For business, like you can snap or we can go this way. Smile. Gentle call to action. Drop a comment of your uh, with your own work in progress and cheer appear. Eh, that's not too bad. Platform tweaks, Instagram carousel, first chaos. So it gives you the options, right? I love the, prob I'd probably make this into a post, right? But now that it's all set, every morning it's going to come in, unless I shut it off, right? Every morning it's going to come in and nudge me at 7 a.m. I'm going to shut this one off and say, stop, stop this task. But now you get it, right? So let's wait for it to stop because it's thinking. I don't want it to be reminding me on top of everything else. And now it said, uh, done daily post reminders are now stopped. Pretty easy, right? So let's go and talk about the next one. And the next one is a YouTube channel. Now, I have a couple of, I think I have two more prompts that are YouTube related here. Because if we look at the most visited websites in the world, it's Google and then YouTube, right? And then Facebook. And so we want to make sure that we're using or capitalizing YouTube. And you see here the prompt based on everything you know about me from previous conversations, including my background, interests, strengths, content, style, tools I enjoyed, and the kind of people I want to reach, what kind of YouTube channel should I create that has the best chance of reaching a wide audience and feels true to who I am? Now, you don't have to use this specifically for YouTube. It could be for your TikTok channel. It could be for Facebook. It could be for Instagram. It could be for so much more, right? So just change that. It says, what kind of YouTube channel? No. Instead, say, what kind of Instagram channel? What kind of, what should I focus on LinkedIn, right? Now you start thinking a lot more. And then you go through uh Channel name, main theme, three to five core content pillars. I want you to put this into ChatGPT right now or copy it. It's remember the description in the description of the YouTube channel. That's where you'll find this. But I want you to put that in and see what it pops up and then start tweaking from there. Because a lot of the times we don't know where to start with our pillars. And when you are showing up on social media, it's important to show up with pillars. I'm going to show you something because when, when I ran this for, I'm always tweaking this one. When I ran this for the, I don't know, 30th time. Yes. I'm always running this just to, just to tweak things and make things better. Right. Because that's how we end up making things better. When I ran this for the 30th time, one of the things that it told me, it said, Tristan, you really need to focus on creating more content for real estate, specifically for the consumer that shows graphics, that shows data. And I thought that is a that is a magnificent idea. So what I did is I chose I chose Facebook as the main one here. Let me open this up because 
I don't usually open up Facebook with this computer, but I'm going to show you. Remember, Facebook is the third most visited website in the world. You're running a business. You want to expand on this. You want to show up and engage with people a lot more. Well, man, this is going to do it for you because it's going to identify how you should show up based on the things that you love, right? And if I go to my main channel, let's do this together now. I'm going to share with you my channel and add to stage. Let me remove this one, stop the screen and share my screen. There we go. We're going to go to my Facebook account, my main personal. This is my personal Facebook account. We've got 30,000 followers. And you see, I'm going to go to the professional dashboard to show you what happened when I started to listen to the things that I should be showing up with consistently. So it's a little bit down. We're usually at about 11 million, 11 and a half million. Uh, but we're at 10,713,000. And that's just over the last 28 days. Now, the engagement, it doesn't show you here. It just shows you on the phone. But the engagement, you see here, you've got 10,713,000 views on the content that I've posted. 800 bucks is what I made. Not, not, not amazing. But these are all just graphics. And it shows the interactions. But more importantly, on the phone, it shows you the engagement i've got over three million people engaging and that's crazy right and this is me listening to this right because i did it i didn't just do this for youtube i did it for facebook i did it for instagram and i'm doing it for all the other channels so i want you to start paying attention more to the things that you're doing be more purposeful by putting them into ChatGPT and saying, I wonder what I could be doing a little bit better. Why don't we go to ChatGPT or, or go to Gemini and see what you can do there. All right. So there you go. That's number two. Let's go to number three. Social media pillars. Again, just expanding on the YouTube one, right? Roll, you're my content strategy advisor. Analyze everything you know about my brand. And I'm going to do this one live with you so we can we can have some fun. But look at what it's asking on the screen. I'm going to, just going to reset this one on this end. And as you're reading through it, know that it's in the description. So grab it from there. But the whole point of this is let's get better at everything that we're doing on social media. And again, most of our challenges come from, well, what do I create, right? What do I post? I don't even know how to show up, right? So I want to help you with that. And let me just bring this one up. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to put that one in here and let's go through. It says, roll, you are my content strategy advisor. This is the pillar one, right? Here we go. Four to six pillars. We're requesting these and now we're going to have it give us these pillars. Now, as it's thinking, start thinking, well, what should be my pillars? The things that you love, you're consistently thinking about. You're consistently asking on Google. Hopefully now you're asking on Gemini, you're asking in Claude, you're asking in ChatGPT. And as you're doing that, it's remembering. So it's it's almost becoming your admin, your assistant, your your mastermind person. And so it's able to do this. So now let's go through and take a look at what it popped up with. Here's what it said to me. Let's uh, let's read this together. Your five core content pillars. Market movers. Decode the data. Again, see, data. It knows me really well, right? So real estate data. AI, I, we talk about AI we engage with AI, we've got AI agents, we, we do a lot with AI outside of actually creating content, actual software so far, but we're getting there. Community craft, build fans, not followers. I've built some of the biggest communities in the world. And so of course, talking about communities, right? Leadership leverage. Uh, I was a CMO of Success Enterprises, you know, that's a 128 year old company, I think. 
Uh, I am the CEO of Lab Code Agents, and I've been involved with a lot of investments and companies. So it makes sense, right? Leadership leverage and brand brilliance. Yeah, we love building up brands, which is part, I think, of community building. It's, a, it's all about attracting. And I think that's right on. So this is the type of stuff you need to be paying attention to when it tells you why they matter, best formats. You can go through all this on your own, but the point is it's there. Look at this. It explains to me. It even gives me ideas. AI had watched ChatGPT draft the seller net sheet in 90 seconds. I actually did that, which was beautiful, right? Anyway, uh, I want you to start thinking along this route. The next one, we've got... Number four, I split this one in two because it didn't fit here, um, but in essence, it's creating YouTube description, title, and thumbnail. I'll let you use this one on your own, but if we go to what it's saying, it's saying, hey, it's going to give you the description, the title, and it's going to use uh, what an influencer in the top 0.01% would do in a thumbnail, same way, right? And if you go to the next slide here, it's continued. <clears throat> Look at the bottom where it says begin content and then end content. That's where you would put in your transcript. And you're like, Tristan, well, where do I get my transcript? Well, once you record your video for YouTube, you upload it to, we upload it to Dropbox, and then Dropbox gives you the transcript. Pretty easy, we grab it, dump it in there, and click go, and then, it starts populating everything that we need. Great title. And then I go through and I'm like, is that a great title? Can I tweak it? Should I do it again? Thumbnail. And you you could see some of our thumbnails there. They've gotten so much better, right? So thumbnail. And then the description. And then I go in and humanize it a little bit more, add my flavor. But it increases the, the time Sorry, it decreases the time you spend on all of these items, right? And this way, instead of having multiple people work on all of this, you could just have one person go through and make sure that you add the human element to this, all right? So before we won't go through that one, just grab it in the description. And then the last one, um, your thumbnail. Really, really your thumbnail because the other one lightly touches on the thumbnail but this one goes all in. This one, like it, it fully gives you examples of it. And it says, hey, this is what you should do. In fact, you probably should do two A-B tests and you should make this one look like this. Hey, do a close up. And I'm gonna share what happened with us. So we've been running this one now for about four weeks. And it, right, this, this amazing uh, prompt, told us you should do a close-up Tristan like 40 percent more because we were we were back here and this is this is where I would be and it said do a close-up so I'm like right here and blur the background more and also increase the letter size and minimize what it says on your left and now you take a look at most of our thumbnails recently and man like I said before they're absolutely amazing. So I want you to start using AI in, in everyday things that you do. Think about this. Social media, flyers, articles. Because if I go back to this, what's stopping me from uploading a flyer and asking it, what's missing from this? Right? Because you could easily do that. Upload a flyer, upload a picture, upload anything and say, hey, how can I make this better? That's how you start doing this, right? And so when you start using AI a lot more for a lot of the things, you start understanding, oh, I could use it for this, I could use it for that. Anyway, all the, the prompts are in the description. Go ahead and grab them there.